welcome and thank you for showing your trust and choosing us as your learning partner let me show you an agenda for today's session i'll talk a little about myself then you will learn about the course delivery model i'll explain how this course will be delivered and what all things are covered in this course i'll also give you a demo of our lms and help you understand how to access the content and ask questions then i will talk about different communication channels i'll also talk about rules and regulations for all students to follow finally i'll deliver your first lesson and at the end we will open for question and answer you can hold your questions towards the end so we can avoid interruption that's all about the agenda let me quickly introduce myself i'm prashant and i have more than 22 years of experience in the it industry 14 plus years have gone by working with data big data and data engineering so i have been in big data and data engineering for quite some time i'm currently working as an architect in one of the most reputed companies in india however i also spend my spare time teaching technology i'm also a published author of a book on kafka streams and published 10 plus self paced courses these courses are available on various platforms such as udemy packet pub and orally learning platform i helped more than 100000 students using my self paced courses with an average rating of 4.6 out of 5 some of my courses were featured amongst the top 100 list on orally's learning platform i also published some content on my youtube channel and have more than 60000 subscribers and more than a million monthly views i have also invested some assets with scholarnas technologies private limited and i delivered training sessions on their platform that's all about me now let me talk a little about you we looked at some statistics of the current cohort the average experience of this cohort is 9.5 years what does it mean you the learners in this batch come with 9.5 years of experience on average we also have some passionate learners with 20 plus years of work experience the minimum experience in this cohort is 3 4 years but more than 50% of the learners have 10 plus years of experience so we have a cohort of experienced knowledgeable and mature practitioners let's look at the details of where do you work we took out some names this is not an exhaustive list but these are the names where most of the learners in this cohort are currently working that's all about you now let's talk about what is the course delivery model how do we deliver this course in the next 4 to 5 months we have two standard course delivery models the first approach is live interactive sessions in these sessions an instructor will deliver everything in the live sessions he will be directly interacting with the students either online or offline but it's like fully live sessions and everything is delivered in live interactive mode the second model is to deliver recorded video lessons combined with reading material assignments and assessments the second model is a self paced learning model both models have their advantages and disadvantages we took a hybrid approach we have a middle path taking benefits of both models and overcoming the problems of both models in the hybrid model you will be given recorded video lessons reading material assessment quiz and assignments for your hands on activities however you and i will also have live interactive sessions these live sessions are scheduled on weekends so what are the benefits of this hybrid model you have the flexibility of managing your time you don't have to commit to a fixed time every day and follow a fixed daily schedule you can follow the recorded lectures on the weekdays and learn at your convenience but on the weekend we will have a live session weekend live sessions are also recorded so if you miss them you can catch up with the recordings you will have a dedicated instructor and a mentor to help you understand and grab everything ask your questions and clarify doubts this model allows you to interact regularly with the instructor and your co-learners interacting with co-learners allows you to see a different perspective and learn from different experiences of the co-learners but to benefit fully from this cohort based hybrid model you have to be active you cannot get the full benefits of this model if you are inactive or not regularly attending your live sessions so don't shy or don't hesitate to ask questions and interact no matter what kind of question no question is a silly question in this group so don't hesitate to ask your questions it would help if you also try to know your cohort connect with the people who are learning with you the average experience of this cohort is 10 years so we have a good mix of experienced people in the cohort they all have unique capabilities experiences and knowledge gained over many years know your cohort and develop your connections we will also facilitate it through some activities but you should also take some steps to connect with other learners the last and the most important thing is mutual respect the success of the cohort model or group learning depends upon mutual respect we are all mature and experienced people so we know that we need to respect others no matter what kind of question is coming people are repetitive in asking something or you think it is a silly question that can happen to anyone so be respectful and patient it will help everyone to clear their doubts and confusion that's all about the course delivery model so we will take a hybrid approach you will be learning with recorded lessons and also in the live interactive sessions you might be thinking about what is available as recorded and what we cover in live classes your main course content your curriculum is delivered to you through the recorded sessions so do not skip recorded lectures and do not rely only on the live sessions everything is not covered in the live sessions it is impossible to cover each point in live session so do not skip your recorded lectures but what is covered in the live sessions 
we utilize the live sessions for many things the first and the most critical thing is to cover some complex topics or technology areas that require an interactive discussion topics that require a deeper understanding and interactive discussions are covered in the live sessions these are the topics where you can ask your question immediately and participate in the discussion these topics might have already been covered in the recorded sessions but we bring them in the live sessions because they are complex and intense and without a proper interactive discussion it could be hard to absorb those things properly we also utilize live sessions to discuss technical and non technical topics that are not part of your course curriculum for example how to prepare for the interview or how you draft your cv what should be there in your profile what should not be there what are other areas along with your course subject that an employer would be interested in how to prepare for those things great that's all about the course delivery model what is covered in this course that's your next question this course is designed in three parts the first part is mastering spark programming spark programming is available in 3 to 4 languages but we will cover it in python so the first module is mastering py spark programming i have listed a few things here but these are high level indicative items we will start with some basics about big data and parallel processing and then we will go into spark data frame programming and spark sql we will cover everything spark has to offer we will learn py spark and spark sql from a programmers or a developers perspective learn and practice everything and go deep into the data frame programming The next part of the course will take you into architecture and internals. You will learn how Spark internally works, and also learn what is happening behind the scenes and where to look for troubleshooting or performance tuning opportunities. Then you will also learn some techniques and approaches to performance optimization. The first module ends with the capstone project. The objective of the capstone project is to give you an understanding of an end-to-end -end flow. The capstone project allows us to explain everything with a good example. So, in the capstone project, we start with the requirement, then. go into the details of translating that requirement into a design and building a modular architecture how can we break our development work into different modules and distribute it amongst the team members how do we set up your source control and code commit strategy how it will be delivered to the qa environment and how it goes to the production environment how a ci cd pipeline is designed and developed how unit testing happens and how do we code for that how do we automate the ci cd pipeline from one end to another all that is covered as part of the capstone project and ensure you understand it In the end we have a mock test for the certification exam. The first module covers everything required to pass the DataBricks Spark developer certification. The course covers way beyond the certification curriculum, but everything required for the certification is also covered in the first module. Those interested in acquiring a certification will have the resources to prepare and practice for the exam. Most of our students have already cracked this exam, so you will also get prepared for that. The second module of the course is Mastering Azure DataBricks. This one is more of an architect level course and specializes in DataBricks. In this module we will learn about lake house architecture and we will learn how to design and implement a lake house we will learn how to design solutions to handle incremental data processing how do we do it in batch mode and how it is done in streaming mode how do we handle cdc how do we implement different types of data models how do we handle slowly changing dimensions techniques to implement scd type 1 2 and type 3 how do you implement security sharing data and tables across teams and work spaces This module is mainly the architecture side of implementing lake house using databricks tools and technologies. We will learn about delta lake, databricks workflows, unity catalog, delta live table, databricks repos and everything databricks offers for data engineering related work. We will not go into the machine learning and AI or data analytics features but we will cover everything required for data engineering work. The second module of the course ends with another capstone project. The first capstone project is designed to help you learn how data engineering projects are designed, developed and deployed for on premise environments. The second capstone is designed to help you learn the design development and deployment of data engineering projects for cloud environments. The focus is to use DataBricks tools and Azure DevOps for the second capstone project. So, you will learn how do you build, test, package and automate your notebooks and workflows in the cloud based platform and we will be using Azure DevOps for this project. Finally, we also have coverage for DataBricks Data Engineer Associate certification. So, if you are interested in Data Engineer Associate certification, you will get everything required to prepare and practice for the exam. The last section of the course is to provide a few extra modules. These are self-paced learning modules that might not have live sessions. Some of you might not feel confident about Python programming. You have some knowledge, but there are some Python programming areas where you don't feel confident. Those are some advanced things that a Spark developer or a data engineer must know. So we drafted one separate course with just enough Python for Spark developers. You can take advantage of it. This course will help you to come up to speed. Then we have one more course, Kafka for data engineers. Kafka is one of the key components. specifically when you are building real time pipelines we drafted a separate course to help you understand kafka enough for data engineering this course covers how to interact with kafka using databricks and where kafka fits into the lake house architecture 
The following self-paced module is for Spark Streaming. We cover Spark Structured Streaming in the Azure Databricks course here. As part of the Databricks capabilities, we have good coverage for Spark Structured Streaming. But we also have a more detailed and elaborate course on Spark Structured Streaming. These three are mainly self-paced courses, but you get full support on these courses as well. Great, this is what we cover in this course. It is quite a lot to learn and requires a lot of hard work from your side and our side. But I'm sure we will be able to do that. The next thing is how to access your LMS platform. I'm assuming you have already got access to the LMS platform. We also recorded one video on how to access the LMS platform. You might have seen that already. But let me quickly help you with a few things. Let me open the LMS. So the LMS platform is available at www.iscolorfness.in. Do not try to access it without the www. Our SSL certificate is tied to the www.iscolorfness.in. So please don't open it without www. Once on this portal, you can sign in with your Google account. Let me log in with a dummy student credential. Go to your dashboard, start your course module and you will go into the LMS. We will have a lot of things here. You can see some PDF documents, some video lectures are there. You have some quizzes here, you have assignments and you have some frequently asked interview questions from this particular week's content. A lot of things are there in the content. Assume you are reading or watching some recorded lectures or taking a quiz and you have a doubt. You will see a link like this everywhere. You can click this link and see all the questions asked by other learners. And there are answers to all those questions. If you have a new question, you can ask. You can even upload an image or a screenshot, insert a link or file. This is where you can ask questions related to the current topic. We answer every question within 24 hours. We have one more place. Go to the dashboard. We have some communities. You can also come here and ask questions. This is the place where you can ask questions that are not related to your content or the course material. If you have something outside the topic or unrelated to the curriculum, you can come to the community and ask. Your instructor and other students can also participate here. So you have two places where you can go to ask questions. So let's summarize about doubt clearance and support. You can go to the discussion forum and ask questions about the lesson. You can go to the community forum and ask other type of questions there. If you are stuck somewhere and you are not able to progress, you may be trying to install something or configure something or you are trying some examples that are not working. You ask questions, we try to help you with answers and resolve your problem. But still, you are stuck and not able to progress. We also provide one-to-one -one technical support over a scheduled Zoom call for blocker issues. You will also have access to the WhatsApp group. Your course coordinator has already created a WhatsApp group and all students are added to the WhatsApp group. You can use WhatsApp groups for something urgent that requires immediate attention. Otherwise, the WhatsApp group is for informative communication from our side and to share announcements or send you a live session schedules. But you can also use it as long as you are not polluting it. We also have an escalation matrix. If you have something that you want to escalate or some problem is not being resolved, you will have access to a dedicated course coordinator. You can reach out to him over WhatsApp or call him. You will have access to the course coordinator's phone number. If your issue is still not resolved, you can reach out to me. You will have access to my WhatsApp number and phone number. You can reach out to me as a second level escalation. The support team works from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. So WhatsApp and phone communications are available during this window. It's not hard and fast, but you can expect delays if you reach out beyond working hours. Finally, some rules and terms. Your LMS access is only for you. It is not for your friends and colleagues. That's the most critical rule that everyone must understand. We provide you access to the content for lifetime, but that's not a commitment. There are terms and conditions attached to your lifetime access. At a high level, that clause requires you to be a good citizen in the LMS. Content or your access is for your personal consumption. We have a system in place to detect unusual activities. We also generate different kinds of reports to have some sense of misuse of your access. In case of misuse or in case of violation of our policies, we might revoke your access. Otherwise, you are using it for yourself. If you are a good citizen, your access remains with you. And all the upgrades, updates or whatever we are adding to the same course will keep coming to you in the future. Great. That's all for the course welcome lecture. Let me open for Q&A and I'll deliver my first lecture after the Q&A.